Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend message. We're gonna tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys this weekend. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Taurus, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. So let's get started with your messages for the weekend. Let's see what is going on for Taurus this weekend. What are the overall messages? Three cards, please, universe. Overall messages here. Patience and planning. Taurus, you are patiently planning something. What are we planning, Taurus? Or someone's planning something with you. What else? Passion ignited. Oh, manifestation. Somebody manifesting something. Patiently planning a hot date, maybe? And throat chakra. Okay, someone's time for someone to speak up. All righty. Okay, Taurus, so I feel that this weekend there's something that you guys are, okay, you know what I'm really, get, oh wow, look at what I'm really getting here, Taurus. So someone is getting ready to come towards you, Taurus, with, with, with triumph and success here at the bottom of the deck. Someone's getting ready to speak up, or maybe you are. This is going to ignite passion between you and a person. You guys have been patiently planning this, okay? Someone's been patiently planning this, this conversation, and I feel that this weekend someone's going to get ready to open up. And it's going to be a lot of passionate communication here. With the triumphant success here, I feel like there's going to be a lot of success in this conversation. Um, there's going to be maybe a lot of future planning, planning a, a, a date, getting together, going out for dinner and drinks. But definitely, I feel that someone's getting ready to open up this weekend. Taurus, this could be you or this could be your person. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what other messages we have here? Five of Swords. So in the past, there was a lot of deception here with you and your person, okay? Um, maybe there was a lot of secrets that were being kept. Um, maybe a lot of people were meddling in your connection. With the Five of Swords here, this is an energy of... It was maybe like abusive relationship. Maybe you guys were, were verbally abusive to each other. I don't know, maybe you're just used to, you You were in the past, you were dealing with a situation like that, not necessarily this relationship. With the Eight of Swords, somebody is really stuck in their head because of those past actions. This can be you, Taurus, or this can be your person, but somebody is really going through it because of the way they acted in the past. But with the Fool here, somebody's getting ready to take a leap of faith. This could be you, Taurus, or this could be your person. Getting ready to take a leap of faith and start this conversation here. Wanting a new beginning, wanting triumph and success here. Yep, someone's getting ready to come towards you very, very fast. They want to communicate with you, that they want to restart working on this connection with the Three of Pentacles, that they want to put the work in the connection, that they want the opportunity of to grow here, that they want the opportunity to have a new beginning here with you. With the Page of Swords, somebody's been keeping an eye on you, or you've been keeping an eye on them. Somebody finds the other person very sexy, very alluring. Um, maybe you and this person had um, wonderful sex. I don't know. But definitely something passionate here going on between you and this person. And somebody who's been keeping an eye on the other one. This can be both of you guys. You, you can be dealing with somebody who's very good looking. okay, Or you're a very good looking person. I feel in the past that there was a lot of emotional games being played here between you and this person. You guys held back emotionally. You, you didn't open up. Um, there was just a lot of... With the five of swords, just a lot of game playing here. But there's time for happiness, boo-boo. Something's getting ready to happen and this connection is going to ignite a lot of happiness. You may be dealing with the Leo. Somebody in the past may have moved away, packed their shit up and left. But somebody's getting ready to come back home with the six of swords here, okay? So there's going to be a conversation here with your person, um, a past person that you were with in the past, obviously. 
um, that's wanting to come back towards you, you're wanting to go back towards them. Someone's definitely going to be taking that leap of faith to open up the communication here. There's been patience and planning for this conversation to happen. I feel that you, Taurus, if this is you, you've been patiently planning how to move towards your person and have this conversation, or this can be your person, but there's definitely going to be success after this conversation. There's going, you guys are going to achieve a lot in this conversation. What else, universe? With the four of cups here, I feel you and your person miss each other a lot. Like, you guys miss hanging out with each other. You guys miss talking to each other. You guys miss just pretty much just sh sitting around and shooting the breeze. You know, just talking shit, just hanging out. And you miss that. You, For a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with the water sign who's a homebody. You know, my Tauruses like to be out and about having fun. And you may be dealing with someone who's a homebody and you're missing that. You're missing the fact that you, you used to hang out with this person at home. With the two of cups here, yep, you guys are currently in separation okay wanting a reconciliation i feel that you and this person see each other as soulmates twin flames here and you guys want to sit down and speak of this um reconciliation look at ace of cups the opportunity at a new beginning so yeah definitely this conversation that's going to be had this weekend is going up open up the doors to a new beginning here a new beginning full of love i just feel that there is a lot that you and this person have to sit down and still discuss a lot of things that need to be cleared up but look at with the seven of cops uh, seven of cops what is my problem seven of, you may be dealing with a cop i don't know um a cop not a cop um, but with the seven of cups here, yep, there is a lot of conversation that still needs to be had between you and this person. And it may get a little bit um, emotional because there's a lot that did happen in the past between you and this person. But I feel overall you guys are going to be able to come over, uh, get over that, have that conversation and pretty much move on from it. Okay. But there is conversations that need to be had, and they're gonna be very, they're gonna be very emotional conversations. With the Queen of Swords here, I feel that you and your person are gonna be very straightforward when it comes to this connection moving moving on. You're gonna be like you you're gonna tell this person exactly what you will and will not accept in a relationship, and it's gonna be vice versa from your person. Okay. With the Nine of Cups here, you feel that this person is your wish fulfillment. They feel that you're their wish fulfillment. But right now, because you guys are in separation, there is no wishes grant being granted. There is no wish fulfillment. But I feel when you guys come back together, these wishes are going to start being granted for both you and your person. What else, universe? Emperor. Taurus, you can be dealing with an Aries or this com or this person is somebody that you were in a higher level commitment. Somebody that you lived with, you necessarily weren't married to this person, but you guys were in a higher level commitment. And you guys are going to be coming back towards each other this weekend to have this conversation. Th you guys have been patiently planning this or your person's been patiently planning this, but neither one of you guys want to let each other go. Like you guys want to hold on to each other for dear life. Because at the end of the day, there is a lot of love in this connection. There's just a lot of things that happened in the past that need to be cleared up with the nine of swords here things that need to be released things that need to be spoken in order for you guys to come towards a new beginning a new a new a new opportunity here yep there's a lot of heartache in the past there could have been a third party situation now keep in mind Taurus third party situations aren't always sexual this could be people that are meddling in your guys's connection okay but there was a lot of heartache in the past but I feel that with the seven of wands here in the reverse you guys aren't going to be giving up like I think you guys are going to battle it out and hash things out and move forward attempt to have this new beginning because overall like i said there is a lot of love in this connection everything in the past possibly was reckless if you were with this person and you guys lived together when you guys just recklessly decided to move out okay and i feel that was the energy in the past or this can just be the communication this weekend that is going to come out of nowhere when you least expect that you're in the middle of something and ding here goes your phone and this person's trying to talk to you so it's going to be something that just comes out of nowhere, okay? With the high priestess here, this is this is divinely guided, okay? I feel that you and your person are constantly thinking about each other, constantly wondering what the other person is doing. And this is universe bringing you guys back together again, okay? What else, universe? Where in the world did that card go? Okay, Okay, that card flew so I think I see it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Found it. Sorry. 
nine of wands yeah definitely not giving up on this connection and here goes the six of cups guys so yep there's definitely going to be a reconciliation here with you and a person from the past i feel that you guys are not going to give up on this connection you guys are going to fight it all the way and you guys are going to fight to be together again to be able to reconcile you guys feel that you are soulmates you guys are destined to be together there's there's definitely going to be a very emotional passionate conversation here with you and somebody from the past there will be conversation of reconciliation you guys are going to consider taking that leap of faith together and come back around to each other to be able to work this connection now to be able to move on and have this beautiful new beginning okay all right guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity please don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell and if you would like to book a personal reading the information is in the description box below i'll talk to you soon bye